what is up you guys this is stuffy aka in my humble opinion and welcome back to another fan reaction friday video in today's video we're watching episode three of the queen's gambit the episode is entitled double pawns let's get right into it Ooh, is this a throwback episode are we gonna learn what her mother's deal was Oh my god, baby Elizabeth is so cute. It's so sad watching her cry. Oh, okay. Mom made it. Oh. I love mom scenes. Maybe we'll learn about her mom, but we'll also get to see like Alma be in mom mode because Alma in the previous episode said she could learn how to become a mom. So maybe this episode's like mom centric. Kentucky State Champion. Nice to meet you. Oh, making that a name for herself. Today. And the rook comes to the seventh rank. That right there. <gasps> oh my gosh! Isn't he the little boy from Love Actually? And I think he was in the Maze Runner too. Justin, who's playing like that? Back when he was your age, little girl. I like how he calls her little girl. It's probably like patronizing, but he also looks about the same age as her. Beth Harmon. <laughs> Boom. That's how we do it, girl. What are you two doing here? Losing mostly. You destroy everyone you play, Harmon. I can only lose so much. <laughs> That's the truth. Oh, I like how she's like seeing familiar faces now. You're playing my earlier games. What on earth for? Looking for weaknesses in my play. Damn, she's a Her champ. Seat. That's how we do it. There aren't any. <laughs> aren't any weaknesses. She's such a badass. Damn, I aspire to have the same confidence as Beth. <gasps> Alma! So much more exciting than I imagined. Did you watch <gasps> Literally everybody watching Queen's Gambit. When he brought out his rook, then took that pawn. I thought you were done for. I should have known better. <laughs> yes, you should. From haters to fans. Benny Watts plays in Europe all the time now that he has his international title. How's the prize money? Almost like mm -hmm. about that What's cash, better? though. We should probably go. We don't want to be late. This one's for all the marbles. 500 <laughs> of them, to be exact. Alma? Oh my gosh. The rook and knight in three pawns. It's so complicated. <laughs> I agree with you, Alma. And that's me. Will they ever show her like losing a match at any point in the show? Perhaps you could give me ten percent as an agent's commission. Let's make it fifteen percent, which would be forty nine dollars and fifty four cents. <laughs> Almost like I want to be Chris Kardashian. What's national recognition, dear? I'm afraid she's had a bit of a relapse. The doctor wants to keep her in bed for a few more days. <laughs> Almost basically like screw your education. Sure Is her school like not read the paper at all? Because she's like literally making news. I believe we could fly to Houston, have a very pleasant winter vacation in the sun, do girly things. Yes, mother. Hmm, it's interesting that she's like calling her like mother too now. She has a fever of 101. It must be the flu. She won't be back until after the holidays. <laughs> Alma's really on her Chris Kardashian right now. I'm so proud of you, Kim. You're doing great, sweetie. Oh my god, Alma! What? She's like, I'm a cool mom. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. At this point, she's like not even her mom, honestly. She really is just like assuming the agent slash like friend role. I imagine it must have been such a distraction from life in such a depressing place. And you must have been very lonely. No, I had Jolene. Do you imagine 
that you saw the king as a father. Okay, and this lady and is trying so hard to make to this a lot deeper than it really is. The board. Yes, it's an entire world of just sixty boy squares. I feel safe. Hmm. It's not unpredictable. And it's predictable. Literally. Oh my god. Genius and madness. You think I'm crazy? No, of course not. I think that's, that's enough. enough. That's right. Right on cue. Like Chris you. Kardashian comes to the He's door. You might try bridge. I hear a lot of chess players enjoy it. I'll show you out. <laughs> now and then a small boy appears and dazzles us with his precaution. Yes! Like look at her! Ha! Huh, catch me with my looks now, girls. A young, unsmiling girl. Brown eyes, red hair, and a dark blue dress. Uh, she's famous? Beth Harmon. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm so worried about Alba. Oh, girls! Oh, please. I've flirted with alcohol most of my life. If anything, I think it's high time I consummated the relationship. To motherhood. She's like, this is my version of motherhood. Friday night? 7.30. Can you make it? Beth should have been like, um, no. <laughs> what about the boys? Are they good looking? Do you date any of them? There's not really much time for that. But if you had the time... We don't you like you this girl. Like to... Oh my god. <laughs> this is like their version of like TRL. <laughs> Oh, yikes. Girl, what are you doing? No, no. <laughs> she left with the goods. Las Vegas, 1966. These, like, big, like, font title cards feel very Killing Eve to me. I'm sure other shows obviously have done something like that, but just, like, the style of it reminds me of Killing Eve. Wow, that is a dramatic stare. Everything is cooler in Las Vegas. Got a new wardrobe. I told myself that the Open's not as important as the U.S. Championships. Oh no, no, it's not. But I'm sure glad you came. Wow, he idea. is I trying to catch up to her. A stroll. I should do something on you for the magazine. I was on the cover last month. Oh, of course, I must have got it mixed up with the one in Life magazine. <laughs> it's so funny because like Beth is not saying that to be it. cocky. Oh, it's just. Yeah. Confident, and she's just like so matter of fact about it. Let's go. She's like, Holy shit, I'm going up to his room. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't ready. You look great. Oh my god, he is such a freaking flirt with her. You could go by the board. The board? is on the bed. <laughs> yeah, it's more my, my speed. This is very like a barrel, the crown, season two. <laughs> You've even gotten good looking. Huh. It's Beth. I like Harmon. Well, what's your name, Towns? <gasps> Oh, oh, this is so barrel. Oh my god. Oh. You two, carry on. I'll be gone in a minute. <laughs> Let's play chess. Okay. Who knew that playing chess would get her, like, men? <laughs> Kentucky DL Towns. DL. Oh my gosh, really, Alma? She's just like, I'm gonna let this girl try all the different kinds of alcohol. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay? Ma'am, you downed that. She's gonna be so hungover. <laughs> if you're gonna have one, get me one too. 
almost like, I'll enable you. <laughs> I'm getting 15%. The way that Paul Murphy did one time. <gasps> I've seen him a couple of times. He's always got a crowd around him. Well, of course, he's the US champion. He's Benny Lux. <laughs> oh, okay. That's Some the love actually, kid. Time. There is one player that scares me. Doubt. Who? The Russian. Oh, never mind. Which is not the case with QGD versus Slop. Why does he dress like Indiana Jones? Your problem is your queen knight. I don't want to set it up and think it out. <laughs> the two prodigies duking it out. She's like, I gotta study this. Got in my head. I was so proud of myself when I found an error in a Morphe game and now someone's done it to me. Stop thinking about what might have happened in the past and get some sleep. Damn, that Benny Watts has her frickin' shook! I love that she still hides her tranquilizers in the cup of her toothbrush. Oh shit! They're quite the characters. Look at him with his hat and his like long leather trench. Oh shit. Aww. Is this like her thinking of all the possible plays? Wow. Cool visuals, man. Oh my gosh. He is making her doubt herself. Maybe this will be the first time we see her lose. I wanted to win. I wanted to hammer his weaknesses. I wanted to show that fucking pirate that I could beat him, even though I didn't play the way he thought I should. <laughs> <laughs> like how she calls him pirate. The pawn that had held his queen to her corner for most of the game. I don't understand. <laughs> Same, Alma. And then I saw what it meant. With the pawn gone, I was open to a rook bishop mate because of the bishop on the open diagonal. Diagonal. Tilt. Him, because his fucking innocent looking knight would block my king's escape. <laughs> the dramatic the way she describes chess, she's just like so passionate. I wanted to scream. You resign now. Oh, Mr. Heckle! Damn. <gasps> wow. She lost first time. He got in your head, girl. Made you question your strategies. You'll split the prize money. You'll be co-champions. You will still get a trophy. I'll be a small little one. It happens all the time. Spoken like I a true manager. Advice. You don't know anything about Jess. Oh, <laughs> damn. I know what it feels like to lose. Yeah, I bet you do. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And now you do too. See, sometimes we gotta lose to humble ourselves. We gotta lose sometimes to know how to win. I know how badly you wanted to beat Benny. You'll get another shot. Doesn't matter. Harmon's a yeah. sore loser, but she'll grow. She's not used to losing because it's her first time losing. All right, and some post-show thoughts. Damn, it'd be like that sometimes. I feel like this was a necessary life moment that Beth needed to experience and that is the experience of losing. Sometimes in life we need to have the experience of loss and knowing what it feels like to lose in order to help us rebuild ourselves to come back better and stronger than ever and therefore we also can learn from our previous mistakes and sometimes we need to lose so we can learn how to win. So definitely, you know, it sucked seeing Beth lose, but it was a necessary thing for that character to experience. The introduction of this new character, Benny Watts, what an intriguing guy. Like, first of all, I mean, obviously the fact that he is this like American champion and everyone in the chess world quite literally treats him like a celebrity, but also just like the way he dresses. He looks like Indiana Jones to me with like his hat and his long leather jacket 
It was exciting to see Beth and Benny face and compete against each other because I feel like I, I would imagine like if I was a chess player in this world, just seeing the likes of Beth and Benny compete against one another because they're just two very interesting characters in this chess competition world. I don't know. It was just like a fun visual and it was just very exciting to see. We got to talk about Alma for a second. Alma, Alma, Alma. She is just like Chris Kardashian, Regina George's mom from Mean Girls. Like she really played up the fact that like I'm her mom, I'm her mom. But how much of a mom is she really being? For me, I feel like Alma is just kind of like enabling <laughs> Beth and she's just like really enjoying her 15% manager life. So I like how Beth and Alma always kind of have these conversations at the end of the day where Beth walks Alma through her chess day and Alma's like, I don't get it. Cause I feel like that's very relatable for us as the audience to watch. But I liked towards the end, Alma really trying to be there for Beth and be like, I know what it's like to lose. And then Beth being like, no, you don't. See, I feel like also that line is like a hint that Alma lost something. But um, yeah, this was uh, another solid episode. All right, and my question for you guys is, I wanna know what are your thoughts on Alma as a mom? I'm not gonna be this person that's like judging a woman on how she mothers her child and being like, you're not being a good mom. But I feel like Alma is just like really basking in her 15% managerial Chris Kardashian lifestyle here that there are some things that she is allowing Beth to do that maybe a quote unquote typical mother wouldn't necessarily allow their daughter to partake in. But you know, that again, we know that Alma is very invested in Beth's chess playing because of the money. But yeah, I'd like to know what are your guys' opinions and thoughts on Alma as a character? Because man, what a time. And all right, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on this particular episode. Also going to shout out my podcast that I host. It's a podcast called Diva Dailies, a podcast where we deconstruct divas on film and TV. I know some of you guys who watch my videos have already checked it out and said that you're really, really enjoying it, which really, really makes me so, so happy because I work really hard on it. But if you haven't had the time to check it out, please check out the podcast. It's something that I just started in 2020 and I'm very, very proud of. So yeah, you can find us wherever you listen to podcasts. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever really, but we're Diva Dailies. And if you guys wouldn't mind, please leave a rating and review because leaving a rating and review for the podcast helps other people discover Diva Dailies. And I know there is way more people listening than just the 25 people who have rated the podcast. So yes, please, please, please check out Diva dailies and that's pretty much it as always everything i said which is my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion and i will see you guys in the next one bye